Welcome to Manchester. It's often a devilish prospect for any visiting side travelling here on European business, but we're looking forward to what's ahead of us. Old Trafford, the venue. I'm Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to this evening. It is Manchester United against Paris Saint-Germain. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. No mistake, Lee, the Champions League will be the most coveted prize of all for them to win. Yeah, absolutely. The group stages in the past have not been a real problem for them, but it's just getting over that final hurdle in order to get into semi-finals and finals and actually win the trophy. So a lot's expected of them because of that money, but they need to produce. This is the team Manchester United will go with. The formidable David De Gea starts in goal. Phil Jones starts with Chris Smalling in defence. Ander Herrera starts alongside Paul Pogba in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack is Romelu Lukaku. <laughs> Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. Wing-backs are important in this setup. Did you enjoy your experience of playing at wing-back, Lee? Not at all under Bruce Roark. It's a very, very demanding role, as we can see. The full-backs are exposed both offensively and defensively. Lots of support inside them, but going forward, they need to try and get the ball into the box for the two up front. Marquinhos. It's an excellent attack from PSG, but will there be an end product? And it's gone behind for the corner. As an opposing defender, you can't afford to take your eyes off Romelu Lukaku. What sort of game do you think we'll see from Lukaku, Lee Dixon? Well, he's big, he's strong, he's powerful. He needs to impose himself on the game. Scare the defender in front of him, then you will get your delights in front of goal. And played in by Di Maria. Thumps clear. That is how to put in a challenge. He's been a bit unfortunate in that the ball has gone out. Paul Pogba. Under Herrera. Manchester United getting higher and higher up the pitch. What can they produce from this position? And the cross is very much on. Edinson Cavani now. Marquinhos. Here is Juan Bernat. Cavani, Draxler, Dani Alves, and crossed in the direction of the back post. And a throw in forthcoming. Juan Massa. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. Smalling. Massa, under Herrera, Paul Pogba, immaculately placed by Draxler, immaculately placed by Cavani, a brisk start and a quick goal. Well, the manager would have said, keep it tight at the back and see if we can nick an early goal, and they certainly have done. Well, here it is again, Derek, the audacity of it, the skill, the techers, everything, all those words you want to use. Absolutely brilliant. The keeper doesn't know what he's going to do, and neither did we. And so, back playing again. PSG with the lead. Under Herrera. 
Massa. It's Manchester United on the move. No, it wasn't far away from the target, Lee. No, it was decent. Really, really decent chance for the lad. They'll keep pushing away to try and get that equaliser. It's Kimpembe now. Draxler. Well, let's see. Does he mean business? He's taken on the shorts, but he's failed to beat the goalkeeper from there, Lee. Well, it was well worth the effort, but uh, well off target. But a few years ago, we didn't really think of Paris Saint-Germain as potential Champions League winners. Suffice it to say, Lee, those days are gone. Well, absolutely, and it's about time, really, that France, and especially Paris, had a powerhouse in European football. And they've now got that. They're building on what they've done in the past, but certainly they're emerging as a real talent. Bernat. Cavani might fancy it. And a harmless cross, gobbled up. He's protecting it effectively. Tilo Keira. Well, great read there to intercept. So a throw in here. Bernat. Di Maria Bernat Mbappe with it and it's a really good looking Paris Saint-Germain attack what will they do next now he must favour the cross and clears his lines well, can he make this move count Edinson Cavani's in the vicinity and it's come off the keeper I'm not afraid to have a go from long range. They won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. No nonsense clearance. And Kylian Mbappe. Well clattered away. Lukaku. Throw ins given. Diogo Dallo. Juan Mata. Excellent defending, just couldn't quite keep us in play. Massa under Herrera. Carrying a genuine threat here. Romelu Lukaku read it superbly to take back possession. Lukaku. Pogba. This is the Mania Matic. And passing with a velvet touch. Powerful enough but not precise enough no not accurate enough at all he had other options on as well well they are on the wrong end of the scoreline but Lee your overall thoughts on their current situation well United find themselves still very much in this game such fine margins isn't there between success and failure at this level they need to stick to the game plan and hope it turns around in the second half Diogo Dallo on the ball and Herrera an awful lot of green space to run into and Mata and United 
Sajid had the corner. Over it comes. Well, it might still work out for them. Matic. Bernat. Here's Mbappe. PSG on the move with purpose. What can they do from this particular position? And De Gea untroubled. Raxler now. Danny Alves with it. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Raxler. Is he going to punish them here? Now, what can he do here? And he's clear his lines. Here's Luke Shaw. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. And a no-nonsense clearance. The first half story has been written here at Old Trafford tonight. Whatever way you slice it, a good night's work for this fellow so far. Lee? Well, Derek, you're right. He has played well and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half. Underway in the second half, Paris Saint-Germain have the lead here. Here is Juan Bernat. Here's Marquinhos. Edinson Cavani now. It's going to be United's free kick. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Pogba has it. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Di Maria sloppy in possession Draxler glorious pass from Ander Herrera and here is Juan Massa oh dear I think he's left his shooting boots behind in the dressing room well it was well worth the effort poor technique really should do better than that Edison Cavani to be replaced by number 17 Eric Matson Chupo Moulton. Tilo Kera. Di Maria. Danny Alves. Now, can he make this move count? A really sumptuous ball. And a powerful effort, but just lacking accuracy. Yeah, narrowly wide, Derek. Decent effort. He smashed it. Beautifully timed. Oh, he's through here. Only the keeper to beat. The net is steering him in the face. And that's sound goalkeeping to hang on to the shot like that. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Martial. And it might be a favourable situation, this, for Manchester United. Well, just couldn't keep himself onside.
Draxler now. Dani Alves. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Oh, that's an interesting pass. And that's her. Space and time for the cross. And no nonsense defensive clearance. And a strong tackle. Mbappe with it. Well, let's see. Does he mean business? Thunders clear. Under Herrera. Under Herrera with that lovely pass. Di Maria. Dani Alves. Braxler now. The timing was perfect. It had to be. Substitution time it is. And played in by Di Maria. Missed the chance to extend their advantage. Oh, a golden opportunity to really put the game to bed. They've given it away. Trying his luck from long range. A one on one situation, and the goalkeeper prevails in the duel. Advantage is always with the attacking player because he's got the ball. You've got to take the ball off him. He does a brilliant job on that occasion. Braxler now. Marquinhos. Braxler. And Pogba taking charge defensively. PSG on the move with purpose. What can they do from this particular position? Kehrer inside the last quarter of an hour. Mbappe into the middle. The crossbar got in the way. Very clear who got the last touch. So a corner coming up. And a substitution in the offing. To be replaced by number seven, Alexis Sanchez. So the corner played into the box. Clattered away. Dani Alves. Here's Marquinhos. Dani Alves with it. Is he going to punish them here? Corner kick awarded. And let's see if this will help them add to the lead. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And fired over by Angel Di Maria. Well, that's clear. Di Maria now. And on the volley, that's not exactly how he intended to catch it. Well, it's worth a chance. One in ten, it goes in the top corner. Nine out of ten, goes where it did do. Marquinhos. Raxler now. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go. And just one goal between them. Oh, he's failed to hit the target. And that could have been that. Can you go two goals up? No, you can't.
Mbappe with it. Marquinhos. Well, great read there to intercept. Here's Marquinhos. Oh, a lovely ball. On the pass by Mbappe, he'll be disappointed. Braxler. Marquinhos. Di Maria. Now it's Alexis Sanchez. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not up and heading it just over the bar. Yeah, he thinks he's in, he thinks he's scored, and it's just over the bar. Raxler now. Di Maria now. And that is all for this game. It's an ideal start for Paris Saint-Germain. They have three points from their first game in the Champions League. Yeah, really, really strong start. That's what you need. But with five games to go, very important you stay in the now. One game at a time, Derek. Bit of a cliche, 